Hey guys, what is up? Dave here with another episode of the series What Happens If I Put a Real Life Car in 1320 Challenge with all its real life specs. Today we have the 2019 Honda Civic Type R. I thought it was fitting to do the Honda Civic Type R since we have Honda Civics in the game already. This car matches by weight, horsepower, uh, maximum boost is a little bit weird in this game so it's going to look wrong but I did set it to 22.8. And a couple other things um, in this game. So it should match. I just need to get the gear ratios. I forgot. All right. Now they match for the six-speed manual. Don't ask. It, it's so easy to find this information through Google these days. But it does match horsepower-wise. It's a little bit weird with the torque. And obviously, I can't sit here and try to make a custom dynograph for every single car. So this is as good as it's going to get. So let's take it to the track. And we'll figure out after this if I should throw some nitrous at it or not. We're going to run it first, just straight up, see what it does. We'll try all different things, clutch up, clutch down, see what it does. I don't even know if I put tires on this thing, to be honest with you. I might have forgotten. There it goes. Yeah, the boost is way the hell off, and it won't let me change it, or else it gives me an error. Um, Either way, the horsepower matches, so I'm not worried about that. There we go, cool. All right, let's try rev launch. Uh, let's make sure I have tires. I'm going to say let's try rev launching it, but can't. So we'll do a first, we'll do a realistic rev launch of probably. I'll match what my Golf R was, which was about 4,500, and I wouldn't lose traction. I know the Honda Civics are also, well, the Type R, I believe, is also all wheel drive, so that makes sense. Maybe I can even push it to 5,000 just for the funsies. We'll just say it has really good tires. <laughs> so that's what it runs as is. Should we throw a 200 shot of NOS at it? I think so. Let's full rev it first, though. Just for the fun of it. And then you know what else we could do is potentially even just max it out. Make this Honda Civic its maximum horsepower. Have some fun with it that way and see what it runs. So far, not bad. All right, let's throw some nitrous at it. As always, the 200 shot because there's no reason to use the others. And now it should be way faster. I want to max out the gears, basically. I want to figure out where I finish, what amount of power I finish a race. Oops. I shifted that really early. So far, we haven't even shifted into sixth during a race. Here we will. Barely. All right, let's get some other parts. Let's try... I don't have the intercooler yet. But that's usually only good for weight. And we'll do turbo upgrade. And then we'll do a couple simple things that every Honda Civic owner ever does which is remove your catalytic converter. We will do a muffler. Honda Civic owners, they don't spend money. We're going to do the basic exhaust. We'll do the Celica exhaust. And then from here, we will just do the bare minimums of like spark plugs, And coils because they look better if they're red other than that oh yeah and ECU upgrades I guess makes sense Honda owners put a chip in their little ECUs just to see what happens sometimes they even buy a different ECU for their car for example D series turbo people will put a K series uh, ECU in their car ain't that swell all right let's see what this does now first we'll do it with no nitrous just funsies. I'll rev it realistically 4,000-ish. I forgot to eat lunch. I just realized this. And I think we'll probably rev out on this one. No, we won't. We'll go to fifth. Uh, not bad. 12 ones. Cool. Sounds about right. All right, now let's throw the nitrous at it with a full rev. Ooh, this might max out to sixth gear. Uh, no, it's not going to max out sixth, but we're close. 
Nines, not bad. Let's do, oh yeah, I forgot. Honda people love their cold air intakes. Also, we need we need a big wing. It's a Honda Civic. It needs a big wing, and we need the hood to be a different color. There we go. Now it's a Honda. Cool. Um, other than that, oh, yeah, they love doing their suspension mods, but just springs. They usually cut them. There we go. And... Mm, nah, Honda owners aren't safe. They don't do that. Let's see. Is there anything else that Honda owners do? Oh, they sometimes do what they think are lighter weight wheels, a.k.a. they love their TE37 Volks. Most ricey wheels ever. Perfect, perfect. I just realized it didn't ban me for that. Oh, yeah, and they usually do clutches, but they don't do, like, the top-of-the-line clutch. They do, like, a clutch. So it's going to be OEM-like, and then we're going to do a flywheel. Let's say they accidentally bought the wrong flywheel. But it does fit, and it's just slightly better. All right. Let's see what this thing does now. And full rev it, because it's fun. There we go. Is it going to rev all the way out in sixth? Who knows? Let's find out. Not quite. Cool. We need more power. More power. Oh, that looks like every Honda Civic owner ever. I love it. All right, let's get rid of turbo upgrade because you don't need that. What we do need is the T51. Honda Civic owners, they throw the biggest eBay turbo they can at a car and then just call it a day. So what's this thing dyno out at now? 419, respectable, cool. Oh yeah, and they love slamming the car. Hold on, we gotta slam it. Sick. Looks like every Honda ever in my area. I wish I could just make everything a different color though. I really do. All right. Let's go. Do we max it out now? Let's find out. We should. I would be surprised if it didn't max out the uh, RPM range. So now it's maximum horsepower. Oh, we're running like 40 pounds of boost through these stock internals. Uh-oh. We need to upgrade some of the internals. It's still not revving all the way out. Let's see... Nah, oh well, yeah, cam gears are something that Honda owners will probably do. My Honda Prelude has aftermarket cam gears in it. <coughs> Gotta update the fuel pump. Sometimes that's a must, and you definitely need your injectors. Also, you really want to show off that oil cooler on the front of the car. So let's get that oil cooler on there, even though it's not really needed. And... We'll throw the throttle body on here and call it a throttle body spacer. All right, let's see what this thing runs now. If we aren't in the eights, I'm selling it. Says every Honda owner ever. If I'm not as fast as the Camaro, I'm selling it. Ooh, Honda owners don't get reaction times like that. Do we max out the revs? Still not maxing it out. This Honda owner is actually putting in some good money. Let's do some... You know what? He did go for good headers. Got to get that headers. Uh, um, right. Anyway. And you know what? Is there anything else the Honda owner did? Not really. Maybe some other internals? They never did head work. They never did displacement. They might have done cams because they wanted it to sound like a Chevy Camaro. They put the wrong ones in it for sure to get more power what about electrical stuff did they do anything else in electrical they probably did do a you know a fuel management system upgrade just to handle the e85 that's something we should realistically actually add to the game is like a fuel additive that makes you a little faster every car could have e85 that would be fun or like an alcohol additive would be a lot of fun Does it max out its gears now? This Honda owner really wants to just throw this car through a brick wall. 
man, it's still too slow for the Honda owner. They want to rev out, man. They want to. They want this thing to go as fast as humanly possible. They need the drag ignition. They updated to the MSD ignition. You know, we already got the fuel system. We got the ECU upgrades. They already chipped it. We pretty much have everything a Honda owner would do. I can't, there's not much else that they would do like engine wise. That's pretty much it. You know what? Let's say they did splurge. They did finally go for the better exhaust. Yes. Took my exhaust off. I wanted better exhaust. It's not going to max it out, but it's going to be close. Let's see where she runs. And is it maxed out now? I don't know. It's close. You know what? We'll call that the happy Civic owner. You know, they got their car to the point that it's going to blow up because it's running 432 HP on stock internals with 40 PSI of boost. They're just waiting for their car to blow up. Hold on. The only way to finish this properly is for them to accidentally miss shift. This is the perfect way that a Honda owner knows how to race. This is the only way a Honda owner knows how to race. They go through, they're at their first few gears, and then... Oh, they accidentally shifted to third. They money shifted their car. This is just what every Honda owner does, man. So, and then they cause themselves so much damage. Oh, it didn't cause that much damage. I guess Hondas are built pretty well. I'll give them that.